let's start uh, chapter 2 quick chapter summary right? chapter 2 is cascading style sheets css and javascript so our first point is uh, css means it is cascading style sheet and specifies it is style for visual elements of the website and styles it is specify the appearance of the particular page elements on the screen right so the styles it will help us to avoid duplication in coding use same content with the different styles and the different purposes and it is easy to maintenance of code the syntax of css it is uh, consist of the special symbols that symbols are the rules and so css rules has the two main parts first one it is the selector html elements on which apply the style and it is its declaration right so it is its properties and value the syntax of css it is the selector right an example is given that is h1 right with the curly bracket uh, use properties and its value so you add its property color and add value that is green right so these html elements and properties and its value right so this is the syntax of css and if you want to add the css method then go to the composition toolbar and select the css button right so this is the css button right so when you click and then it will display this is css style set right so it will display general text background border box list and overall right so you add create your style rules by using h1 and then just click on create style rule right so when you click on it it will display text right and uh, you select the font families unspecified predefined and the custom font family after that you add the font colors font size right line height different types of colors right you add font width uh, font style cases options alignment options and you decorate the text right and background you set the backgrounds right color or by using its images right after that you give borders all four sides same border if you want to use then use the checkbox otherwise select the top right bottom and left and when you uh, select then it will display the style rules in the general tab right and so it, uh, you just go to this option and select uh, this heading one from this menu right and when you type it will display this type of text right after that uh, the javascript that is the second point is uh, developed by Netscape company Netscape developed the javascript right and the html could only provide the static web pages right? and uh, when you use the javascript it's add interactivity with the html pages right so it is the simple lightweight programming language and uh, it is used to validate the form right and it is the client side scripting language and it is a case sensitive language and if you want to add a javascript code into the html page then you have to use the script tag and in between inside the head or slash body section so when you use the script it is left any required field and empty enter valid email address it will check that right contains uh, of the uh, two fields are the same or not or has the user entered the valid date or enter text in the numeric data field right so it will check by the javascript right so javascript statements first you have to add the method that is document dot after that part of the document objects that is right and then text variables you add with double quotation marks hello students right and the semicolon it is optional in the javascript right semicolon it is used to mark the separations rather than the terminations of that particular statement then functions are used it is functions or the routine it is a reusable block of code that is perform the particular task and for the fun if you want to use functions it is defined by the word that keyword is the function 
right and block of code it is written by using the curly bracket right and this function is used that is alert functions it takes the text and display it in an alert box right and return the statements will stop the function from executing and returning the specific specified values after the different types of events it is generated by the browser due to the interaction between the user and the website page web page the first one event it is about right so loading image it is cancel right blur elements on the radio buttons become inactive then click it is click on the form element change right so value of the form it is changed by the user error occurs during the loading of document on the different types of images right after that focus it is element such as the button becomes active right and the load option load event it is the document or images loaded in the web page after that variables it is a container for storing data variable in javascript are the case sensitive after that variable stores the number string or text declare a variable by using var keyword right so here some examples are given then the examples are the var space x is equal to 3 semicolon var space y is equal to the within double quotation marks hello right and var variable z is equal to hello students after that browser object model it is bom all the web browsers it is splits into a different parts right or its objects right so the browser parts it is known as browser object model right after that the one function is used that is is an an it is an an stands for the not a number after that an an it is the numeric and built in function an an it will return the true if the value is not a number Right, this is very important, and it n a n returns false. The value is number. Right, here's one example is given. Right, and uh, first one it is is n a n one two three. So it will result is false. Why? Why? Because it is one two three is a number. Right, and is n a n hello. So it is true. Why? Because hello is not a number. Okay. So this is the end of uh, chapter two summary. Thank you.